is the 8th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I've rearranged, so bear with me until I get my uh, new studio put together. We have a nuclear incident out of Russia. A powerful thunderstorm forced the shutdown of one of the reactors at a nuclear power plant in central Russia. And again, it's uh, B-A-L-A-K-O-B-S-K-A-Y-A. -A -A. So, long Russian name, I'm not going to kill it. Um, they lost power and had to, the emergency shutdown in like reactor number four tripped off automatically. Of course, I will attach the link in the video below. Over to Earth. Well, let's go to uh, energynews.com. Nuclear reactor on North Carolina College campus has been leaking radiation since last Friday. The public was not told because radioactivity was compared to what some might receive getting an X-ray. So the leak wasn't that bad, so uh, they decided not to tell us. Uh, 6 .5, well, a 5.6 earthquake rattles Japan nu near the nu Fukushima nuclear reactor site. They're having trouble at reactor number 3. They're unable to inject nitrogen into the containment vessel to prevent a hydrogen explosion. And you got to remember, they've already admitted that these, um, all three, 1, 2, and 3 Fukushima have breached and a full core, core meltdown China syndrome the works three men exposed to over 250 millisieverts TEPCO claims no in immediate impact to health mm -hmm. I'd like to see the damn um, CEOs of TEPCO down there taking these doses and see how they fake how they like it <clears throat> well apparently TEPCO faked some news stories. Japan nuke company caught using employees to ask questions during televised hearing. Told to impersonate private citizens who want reactors to be restarted. Like anybody wants these reactors to be restarted. Give me a break. Uh, Professor Fukushima consequences are unlimited in space, time, and the social dimension. It does not have a limit. And again, just continues, continues. TEPCO halts reactor's cooling system at Fukushima Diachi after electrical sparks are observed. And they've got a fire at another nuclear power plant northeast of Tokyo. And uh, the fire was out and they're saying there's no there's no cause for alarm, folks. Go back to uh, your business. Reactor number one dry well meter hits new high at 266 SVs per hour. Japan says the detector is the meter is defective. And um, British Columbia, Canada sees spikes in number of sudden infant deaths. Why so many of those have come up this year, we don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, the stories that they've been having on through the week. Um, Earth Changes, Scott.net. We have a sea turtle choked with 317 plastic pieces found dead on an Australian beach. And uh, that just goes for the pollution in the Pacific, and it's now radioactive to boot. China fishing industry braces for oil leak impact. Uh, Beijing, dead seaweed rotting fish in the water around uh, this island in Shandong province, which is close to the, to the site of a recent oil leak, suggests the local waters were polluted by the incident, say uh, observers. The oil leak will definitely influence the fishing industry nearby, but it must carry out further investigations to see if the oil leak is the direct reason for the dead seaweed and fish. Now you remember my last update that the beaches were just littered with this stuff, stinky stuff, and they had to go get it tested. <clears throat> Canada, beached whale remains a mystery. Uh, another pygmy sperm whale has washed up in Charlottetown's Atlantic Veterinary College determine why a pygmy sperm whale beached itself and died in Nova Scotia last week. And that might have to do something with the magnetics going all haywire. Canada, Canada Lake at Martin Park closed after dozens of fish found. Of the United States, thousands of dead fish in Red River, Oklahoma. Uh, thousands of dead fish wash up on Lake Michigan shores. Milwaukee, thousands of dead fish are washing up on the shores of Lake Michigan. It brings back the horror stories we used to have in Milwaukee with the enormous populations of 
Alawise would wash up and destroy our beaches, said Dan Steninger of Milwaukee. Uh, Mount Etna in Sicily might be ready to put on a show. And uh, definitely some major activity going on right there. They've, they've even got a link to uh, live webcams. And here comes the locust. Millions of locusts invade Russia. Giant swarms of locusts are said to be threatening the food supply of nearly 20 million people in the region. And of course the conditions are perfect for these bugs, uh, much like they were in Australia not too very long ago. 32 inches of snow falls in the driest place on Earth. One of the driest spots on Earth has experienced its heaviest snowfall in almost two decades, according to the Chilean Directorate of Meteorology. A cold front brought up to 80 centimeters, that's 31 and a half inches of snow, to the Atacama Desert region of South America, forcing emergency services to close local roads and rescue dozens of motorists from their vehicles. The temperature in the Chilean capital, Santiago, dropped below minus 8 degrees Celsius on Wednesday. Neighboring Argentina and Uruguay are also experiencing sub-zero temperatures. Jellyfish invasions forced shutdowns at three separate nuclear power plants. And this is a continuation from the story I reported last time. Nuclear power plant on the coast of Israel was forced to shut down this week when its seawater cooling system became clogged with jellyfish. A similar inc incident temporarily disabled two nuclear reactors at the Tor Tornas power station on the Scottish coast last week. And a week before that, a reactor in Shimin, Japan was crippled by yet another jellyfish infiltration. And of course, I've covered all three of these stories. And it just, um, just that time you were jellyfish, and it just goes to show how, how unstable nuclear energy really is. And if it doesn't get energy, and if it doesn't get water, and if it loses power, and you know what I mean, it's just not very stable at all and not even close to what they're trying to broadcast as, as clean energy to the rest of the world. Uh, it's a crime. Nuclear energy truly is uh, a crime against humanity. Uh, Extinction Protocol's got the Chilean snowfall story. Earth continues to reel as powerful quakes shake chromatic seafloor and that's up um, by New Zealand. Uh, they had another major quake that was taken off the USGS yesterday and um, Quakes continue today, if you were bothered to check that out. It almost looks like there's a major volcano going off right there. Um, just a big swarm of earthquakes. Activity increasing in Italy's Mount Etna volcano, of course. And definitely something we need to keep an eye on. Scientific study shows magma plumes accelerate movements of tectonic plates. Of course, um, thinking they would slide a lot easier on liquid than friction. A uh, 5.3 magnitude earthquake strikes western Mediterranean Sea. And 2011 flooding set to rival worst in United States history. And uh, anybody in the Midwest can attest to that, that the flooding is just insane. And we have reactors, nuclear reactors of our own in trouble. Saturn superstorm. Earth, not the only planet climate becoming more turbulent. And of course, this is happening throughout the solar system, and we've been recording this for, you know, years and years and years. The uh, story goes, July 7th, Los Angeles, it began as a bright white dot on Saturn's northern hemisphere. Within days, the dot grew larger and stormier. Soon, the tempest evolved in the, in the ring planet, triggering lightning flashes thousands of times more intense than on Earth. The International Cassini spacecraft and ground telescopes have been tracking the turbulence since last December. Visible from Earth is a type of storm known as the Great White Spot. It's still going like crazy, said uh, Cassini Project scientist Linda Sp Spilker of the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And again, this is ongoing. This is not happening just here on the Earth. Uh, there's definitely something going on with the Sun and uh, its solar system wide. It's not just uh, carbon gases and your SUV trucks um, that you need to pay more taxes on so they can fix uh, something that's going on solar planet wise. Just insane. And of course, massive local storm invade Russia, 20 million uh, people affected. And officials warn of new Cold War over fight for Arctic territory and energy resources. And this has been going on since uh, the ISIS, they've discovered the ISIS thinning and they can actually start drilling up in the Arctic Ocean uh, who gets what slice of what pie. 
and earth morphing skies, the noctilucent cloud forming, spreading from the poles, and uh, it just seems like these electrically charged clouds that you can see late at night. Um, are putting on a hell of a show for Canada and northern United States, along with Russia and, of course, uh, Europe. So, um, it's just going, something's definitely going on with the magnetosphere. And then finally, I'm going to end it off with the RSOE quick. And they have uh, some reports coming. Force fires in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico. Uh, we got extreme weather coming out of Saskatchewan, Canada. Tornado in Alberta, Calgary area. Force fire in the province of Ontario, Deer Lake, Canada is under the gun today. Of course, the nuclear event out of Russia. Extreme weather in Australia, the Blue Mountains region, and New South Wales. Uh, and, of course, the, the nuclear event out of Scotland with the other jellyfish incident. That is about all I have new for you today. Of course, if I see or hear anything else, I'll definitely let you know. And if I missed anything, please attach your comments or videos below. Until I see you again, enjoy weekend, everybody. Thanks.